Hi, today I want to talk about the steps needed to configure a local area network or LAN segments using VMware Workstation. A LAN segment is a private network that is shared by other virtual machines. A LAN segment can be useful for network performance testing and situations where virtual machines such as isolation are important. In order to use a LAN segment on VMware Workstation, we need to add a LAN segment, then we need to configure a virtual machine or the operating system to use this LAN segment by assigning a static or manual IP address. In my case, I have two CentOS um, virtual machines and I will connect them together using a LAN segment. So select your virtual machine, local server one, then from the top, VM, select setting, then go to add, then you, have, you choose network adapter, click on finish. You have multiple network options here. All we have to do is LAN segment, and then we choose the name. You can add your own name, so we call it demo1, select, OK, then we go demo1, click on OK. Now, we go to our second virtual machine, local server2, then the same, set, the same steps, setting, click on add, network adapter, finish. LAN segment, then we select that same name, demo1, because we are trying uh, to connect the two servers under the same local area network. Click on OK. Then we need to configure these virtual machines to use this LAN segment that we just added uh, by powering on these two VMs. Then configure or modify the network setting by using a static IP address. From the top right, we go to the wiring setting, click on the wire setting, then we edit the setting. Here we go to the IPv4, then we choose manual. Now you need to know your host's address and your IP address uh, and the host range. So in my case is 192.168.1.1 and the net mass is um, class C24 uh, 255.255.255.0. Uh, click on apply close the network setting. Let's head to our second virtual machine. Same steps. Go to the wired connection, the setting. Then we click on edit. Go to the IPv4 and then switch to manual. Here we use the second host address it's 192.168.1.2 and the net, net mask is uh, 255.255.255.0 we can define the gateway as server 1 168.1.1 then click on apply and that's all we need to do for to configure the last segment now we can test by going to the terminal, then let's, from the terminal, we can ping our server 1, we are successfully transmitted four packets received for 0% packet loss. 
Let's head back to local server 1. Here we can test the connection from our local server 1 to our local server 2 by ping 192.168.1.2 This is the IP address for our local server 2 and it's successfully ping and also we can SSH to the root user on our local server 2 192.168.1.2 and here we are successfully SSH to the root account on local server 2 That should be the LAN segment configuration steps for CentOS. If you are using Windows, after adding your LAN segment using the VMware workstation um, from Windows, go to the control panel, start control panel, network and sharing center, then change adapter setting you choose your network adapter right click properties and then find ipv4 then click on properties here we switch to use the following ip address enter your ip address so it's 192.168.1 one and the subnet mask is 255.255 it's the default class C uh, click on OK close now let's switch back to our server 2 and then with the same steps control panel network and sharing center change adapter setting click your network adapter right click properties then IPv4 then properties here we are going to use um, 192.168.1 and the second host range from this IP uh, slash 24 and this one should be dot one. Click on OK. Then close. Close the network and sharing center. Now we can test the connection uh, using ping from the command line. Uh, so let's ping from server one to server two. 192.168.1.2 and here we are successfully pinging let's go to server 2 then same from the command line we ping to server 1 it's also successful and that's basically it about the steps and the configuration needed to set up your local area network whether you're using Linux or Windows operating system and uh, thank you for watching uh, talk to you later